Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Peacock Caddis. This fly was created by a fellow named Jim Bonnet from Montana, and I believe that was during the 1980s. It's a great general caddis dry fly pattern. It's really easy to tie. It fishes well. And it's typically tied in sizes 12 through 18. So here's the completed fly in the vise. So the hook we're going to put in the vise today is a TMC 100 BL. That's a their barbless version of their 100. And the thread we're going to use today is Vivas uh, GSP in 50D in color black. And we'll start this thread about an eye length or two behind the eye. Run this back to where the barb of the hook would have been. First material we're going to tie in is going to be peacock curl. So we'll pick something off from up near the eye. Tie this in. Run our thread back up to about two eye lengths from the hook eye. And gently wrap this forward. And once we reach about the two eye length point, we're going to tie this off. Cut our excess. And we'll tie our wing in next, which will be some deer hair and just a natural color. We'll clip a bit from the hide that's about a third of a pencil width in diameter. This is not a very big wing. So we'll strip out all of the fuzz and under fur, get it in our stacker, get the tips evened up. We want this wing to be just a little bit longer than the bend of the hook, like so. So we'll measure that out, transfer it, and we're going to cut some of that material away just so we have less to deal with when we tie it in. Now you want to run your thread through all of that material all the way up to the eye. That will keep it from spinning. And if you've done it right, it's all going to be right up on the top. Now we want to get rid of all of that excess hair. We're going to wrap back to the beginning of the wing, the base of the wing. And we want this wing to lay down on top instead of being flared out like a regular caddis fly. So as we come back, we'll take some nice loose wraps and that should lay the wing down like that. And if you've got some that have slipped down, we can just Snip those out so you can see more of that peacock curl. Neaten this up. And the last material we're going to tie in is going to be our hackle. This is a furnace and grizzly feather, size to the hook. We're going to tie these in together to prepare them. We're Going to snip some barbules off either side of the stem, like so. I'm going to tie these feathers in with the shiny side facing towards us. As 
So we'll capture those and wrap back to the eye. And we'll tie these in one at a time. You can tie them in together if you wish. This is a fairly heavily hackled fly. We reach the eye, we'll tie that off. Like so. Cut off our excess. Take the grizzly. Bring that forward. Working through the, the brown. We reach the eye, we'll capture that, tie it off. Cut our excess. Form a small head. Whip finish tool, make a four or five turn whip finish. Seat the knot. Cut our thread, manage to capture a couple. And a little head cement to finish it off. This is Loon's water-based. Soaks in really well. And we have our completed fly. Please feel free to leave comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see all the latest content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time.